especially if you're in a vulnerable population, you need tools to defend yourself. Hi everyone, welcome to the Active Self Protection Channel. I am your host, John Correa. I am grateful that you're here for today's lesson. It comes to us from Mead in Washington. Today's video was brought to us by Mantis. The Mantis family of products is integral to ASP staff building handgun and carbine skills and are your most economical and fastest path to improvement in your skills too. Whether you choose the X10, the Laser Academy, the Blackbeard, or use them all in concert, they will help your practice be more effective, efficient, and fun. Go check them out, pick up a unit, and thank them for sponsoring today's video. You can see this is like a trailer used as an office. This isn't a retail establishment. It doesn't look like a place that we expect, you know, uh, the public to come into. But this dude's banging on the door and the 71 year old woman is gonna go and answer that door. And, and he is completely non compass menace. We have audio of, of their interaction here in just a second. It's pretty serious. Let's listen in and hear what happens. Oh, you asshole. You asshole. You can have one of those leave. Okay. Now. You're gonna be okay? Leave, yes. Leave. Okay, well no, leave. It was on me, I'm sorry. Now now you guys got me. You can frame me, murder me, kill me. Sorry. Leave! I am leaving. So you can have me. I need to shut them out because I'm I'm really good oh. Somebody else is having to have to give you a ride. Go. I never even meant to do that. You're going go. to go. Oh my God. Go. Eventually, she is going to get up, lock the door, and then go and call the police. The police, by the time they show up, this guy is long gone. They did hear from uh, somebody else that he stole a work truck. Not long after that, police tried to chase him down in the work truck, but he went into oncoming traffic, so they called that one off. The next day, he tried to carjack someone unsuccessfully, and then when the police showed up in that, he tried to run from them. They finally got this dude into custody, and he is facing an absolute slew of charges, including second-degree assault on this woman. And uh, you heard him get all kinds of apologetic at the end, but friend, that doesn't excuse what he did to her at all. Thankfully, it looks like she is not badly injured, that she was injured, but you know she was able to get up and, and I think that she was seen, treated, and released. Hey, if you have not watched our entire series that I did a full class on women's self-defense, the realities of it and how it goes, it's very different than any other series that I've ever seen. It's not punches and kicks and stuff. It's much, much better than that. Hit the link in the description. Make sure that you get that information to the ladies in your life. 71-year-old woman, this could be any one of ours, and mom, grandma, something like that. I know people are gonna be like, well, she shouldn't be by herself. It's just unrealistic, guys. She's working in an office environment. 
Sometimes that's what it is. Now I will say in this kind of environment, this is why in 2024, something like a video doorbell camera is absolutely critical and really important because if this is a retail shop, people are gonna be coming and going all the time, but the fact of the matter is it's not. And so if you've got that door locked and somebody's knocking on the door, you can just answer it. Hello, how are you? What can I do for you? And you don't bear the risk of opening the door and defeating your barrier. Now, she doesn't have that here. And this guy bears all the responsibility for what happened here. It's heinous and evil what he did. Clearly, he has some significant problems. I don't know if it's mental illness or drug-induced or what, but, but clearly what this guy is doing is completely nonsensical. And now, of course, you know, he, he is gonna do what is just heinous and knock her down and hit her in the face multiple times. Now, ladies, I'm gonna say, you and only you are responsible for you in this moment. Nobody's coming to save you, right? I don't care if you're 71. This is a kind of moral evil that these guys have. So you gotta have, number one, some empty-handed skills. Number two, some skills off your back. Number three, yeah, I would suggest you carry a firearm. Now, she couldn't use it right here, right this second, but, but again, having some grounded skills, understanding how to protect her head, her face, her neck, would have been very, very helpful in this case. Because whether she's got a firearm on her or not, she's not gonna be able to draw it right now. She's not gonna be able to use it when he's in this proximity because she doesn't have the positional dominance that she needs in order to get the firearm out. She gotta have positional dominance to do that. Now, I don't blame her for laying there because she's just beat the crap out of her. But, but again, this is why emotional fitness is so important. And, and also, this is the criminal mindset. This is the, the mindset of victimization that says, hey, wait a minute, I'll take advantage of somebody who you know I know that I can victimize. And they're gonna pick somebody who's a vulnerable population, and that's exactly what happened here. So if you're in one of those vulnerable populations, you gotta be ready to protect yourself. Now, as soon as he goes away, if she has a firearm on her person, can she use it? The answer to that is absolutely yes. She has great disparity of force. He's been driving a fist into her while she's grounded. It's highly likely to put her in the hospital, probably already has put her in the hospital. And so she absolutely can justify the use of deadly force in this case. But of course, when he comes up and grabs a hold of her like this again, now she doesn't have the ability. And my suggestion here is don't, don't do this kind of halfway non-compliance. I'm not gonna give you my keys or whatever. Give him whatever he wants to get the heck away from you as long as it's not yourself and your body. Like, of course, if he wants to kidnap you, wants to rape you, something like that, absolutely fight to the death. But otherwise, you know, again, you want my car keys, here you go, man, whatever. I also wanna note here, uh, you know, it's pretty popular for ladies to carry off body in a purse or something like that. And notice that a purse carry here would do you zero good because that purse is over by her desk and she's not gonna be able to get to her desk until this guy is long gone. Only a firearm that's carried on your person is going to help you in the moment for this kind of endeavor. And so you gotta have it on your person. And in a world where things like the Filster Enigma exist, that's, a, that's even more possible than it ever has been. And I don't care what kind of clothes you wear, uh, that can work for the vast majority of people. So come to the Filster Concealment Workshop, learn how that sucker works, and, and other methods of concealment too. I'm not, you know, uh, they, they are part of our holster consortium, okay? But he finally gets out of there and, and he's all apologetic and none of that apology is going to make uh, it go away what he did, right? And, and okay, so, so guess what? He goes on from here, steals a car, tries to carjack someone else, runs from the cops. This guy is clearly a threat to the community and, and it's gonna take the cops days to catch him. And this is why good, sane, sober, moral, prudent people need to be self-defenders. Whether you're 71, 21, you know, uh, any, any age, you need to be ready to protect yourself. Ladies especially, because these guys are gonna target you and these kinds of absolute dirtbag, you know, just completely crazy people might pick you as a victim. And the bad guy's only gonna tell you about the attack at the last minute. You have to be ready to protect yourself. This is a great example and a tragic example of that. So. Empty-handed skills, important. Knowing how to evade the problem via a ring doorbell, very important, very good, helpful skill to have. Knowing some, some basic grounded grappling skills, keeping your feet between you and him, protecting your head, your face, your neck, those kinds of things. Having some time on the mats can be very helpful for you in those kinds of things. Make sure you keep that firearm on your person, on your body, so that you have it when you need it to cover your asp.